Dear students, in today's module, we will talk about database integrity and how to maintain database integrity. So before starting the discussion on database integrity, we want to review some of the DBMS and we have classified the available DBMS according to the needs of the users into two broad categories. One are inexpensive DBMS and the others are expensive DBMS. So let's talk about first one, inexpensive databases, which are very economical. So they are normally used for personal usage and have a single objective that to shield the user from technical details of the database implementation and you are able to record your, your data into the database. So database maintained by these systems are relatively small and generally contain information whose loss or corruption would be inconvenient rather than disastrous. So this means that if there is a problem, the data is lost or the data is not integrated or there is some, some update which was not required at that time. So such a thing would be considered as convenience that you are, but it would not be considered as disastrous because this is these type of databases or DBMS are used by the persons rather than by the corporation or organization. So in inexpensive data, database management systems, what happens when problem arises like the user can usually correct the erroneous items directly or reload the database. So whenever there is a problem, so user can interact with that database and can correct the things and manually make the modifications required to bring the that copy up to date in the database and then again it's running. However, in commercial database management systems, normally this database is large and multi-user and it is being used in the corporate environment. The cost of incorrect or lost data can be enormous and can have devastating consequences. So this means that if there is any problem with the data, so that would not be considered as inconvenience to the users, rather it would be considered a disaster because that database is being used by the whole corporate. So in commercial database systems, the major role is to maintain the database integrity. So what is that integrity? that guarding against problems such as operation that some reasons are only partially completed or causing inaccurate information in the database. So for example, you want to transfer uh, some of the amount from one account to another account and that transaction or that statement could be subdivided into different statements as we discussed in the machine learning paradigm when we were discussing that how machine process the instructions. So what will happen if partially that transaction has been done or completed? So for example, the uh, amount has been decremented from person A's account, but it was in between and was not added to the account of second person. So this means that your data is lost or inappropriate information or inaccurate information is there. So such type of problems need a very real attention by the management or administrator of databases. So uh, that's why such kind of uh, commercial database systems are very costly because they provide such mechanisms. So what would be those mechanisms? One, uh, we will be discussing three of those mechanisms. One is the commit then rollback protocol and the locking. So these things we will be discussing in the next module that how we use the commit and rollback and how we can lock. So if we conclude today's module, we have learned that what are personal DBMS are inexpensive DBMS and why we need them and where they fail because they are unable to maintain the real time integrity of the databases. So in that situation, we need commercial ones. So those commercial ones have certain protocols 
that they always remain the integrity intact of the databases which we will be discussing in the next module.